Hello everybody, my name is Michael Hoover. I am the East Coast Regional Sales Manager for DRV Luxury Suites. Uh, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our frames. We are here at the factory in Howe, Indiana. We've been in production since 2002, and one of the things that really makes us stand apart from everyone else that we're really well known for is going to be our frame. And reason being is we're not a traditional 12-inch I-beam. What makes us stand apart is we're a 15-inch triple-stacked box tube frame. So we have a 6-inch tube, welded to a six inch tube on top of a three inch tube. This is gonna set the foundation for your whole unit. Just like if you were building a house and you poured your foundation, one of the key features is going to be that foundation supporting the rest of your house. Same thing transfers over to your RV. You need a solid foundation to make sure your luxury fifth wheel is gonna last for a long time. This is going to be a 101 inch wide body frame compared to a standard 96 inch frame. Five inches might not seem like a lot to everyone else, but when you're inside this coach and you're living in it full time, those extra five inches are gonna to matter to you. With that, that's gonna allow us to do everything we want inside this coach um, that makes us stand apart using real wood throughout, quartz countertops, solid surface countertops, various things like that, because we are a heavy unit. One thing I always like to talk about with our frame is going to be our upper deck. This is something that you don't really see when you walk on a dealer's lot, and a lot of people don't really talk about it. But it's something I love to talk about because it's really different uh, compared to the traditional fifth wheel. Our upper deck is gonna be eight inch steel beam from right here all the way up to the front. This first B post over here, where it drops down, this is always gonna be aluminum on the way back. You know, they're saving a little bit of cost there. Um, does make it a little bit lighter, but we're not gonna cut the corners. Uh, having this eight inch steel beam all the way from the back to the front is gonna be a very solid upper deck. But it's also gonna allow us to do a couple other things. It allows us to use these vertical uh, steel beams that's gonna raise your black tank up here and have your gray tank below. So that's a 50 gallon black tank raised up so if your toilet is up here, it's gonna be an eight inch drop from the toilet right into your black tank. While we're up here, I'm gonna talk about the hydraulics on a DRV. One thing that, we, that I always like to talk about that makes us truly different is it's gonna be what we call a home run line. So from your pump being located up here, it's gonna be a single piece from here to the specific end point. If you end up having an issue with one of your jacks, I can tell you it's probably gonna be at the pump or at that specific jack. Inside your frame, there's no T's, Y's, or splices inside the unit. One other aspect that's always great to talk about with the DRVs is going to be our suspension. We are not going to have the leaf spring system that you see as a standard on, on most fifth wheels. Standard for a DRV is going to be the Moride independent suspension. As you can see, looking at, at, at these two axles here, you're gonna see that there's no leaf spring going between the front and back tires. This is going to allow each tire to move independently from each other and allow five inches of travel. A standard leaf spring system will allow two, two and a half inches of travel. Due to how we build our frames with a 15 inch triple stacked box tube frame, we're able to put a two inch receiver on the back of the unit. This will come standard on all DRV Mobile and Elite suites. This will be a two inch receiver that will allow 3,000 pounds towing or 300 pounds tongue weight uh, in case you were to put a bike rack on the back. As you can see, uh, there is high density wool insulation running throughout the entire coach. It is an enclosed and heated underbelly. This bump right here is actually going to be um, a spare tire located up and into the underbelly. 